Yeah, like honestly, like I'm not making this video to cancel him. I'm just trying to help others out there because there's a lot of kids that are my age that I think it's awesome that James Charles is asking Adam on Snapchat, but in reality, he's trying to he's trying to make you think that you are something you're not. And I don't want that happening to anybody else and to all the parents and everybody watching this video. I'm trying to help you out for the future with your kids and to make sure always like stay in touch, like like ask them, like check their phones, whatever you know to do, you know, because like there's people like him. James is a child predator. My thing is you asked him how old you were and when he told you he was 14 years old, you still continue to try to force yourself on a kid, a little kid. So my thing is like, I don't know. I just don't think that's cool. That's disgusting. You're 21 years old. And you want a 14 year old out of all the people in LA, there's 4 million people in LA, and you choose to try to force yourself on a 14 year old. I don't know, I just don't think this is right or okay. And I don't think he should just be walking around, you know, being able to keep doing what he's doing. Well, if James Charles can. actually defend himself instead of sending his own receipts to a bunch of beauty tea drama channels then if James Charles says this, says that he didn't James Charles says that he didn't send any news to Ethan Andrew there. Man, I would believe him. But right now, unfortunately, that would, would not be the case until then. In the past, I've heard him, I've heard things, you know, he's had plenty of scandals. I've actually heard him, like, trying to force himself on guys, but... I never believed it, you know, you always think that, oh, maybe people are just trying to just demolish his image or tear him down because he's at a higher power. But my thing is, at the end of the day, it's just like, wow, all of that stuff is true and everything you've ever heard, it's true. That's actually who he is as a person. And like I, like I, like I said, again, I'm not trying to like destroy anybody's image or tear anyone's character down, but you know, that's just not cool. He's 14 years old. He's like basically my little brother. He is my little brother. So I just don't understand why you felt the need to force yourself on a 14 year old and seeing him nudes and videos of you when he continued to tell you he was uncomfortable and he didn't want to send you nudes back and it's not cool i mean i know that you know you're king or queen whatever you want to call it of manipulation but he's only 14 years old and threatening him saying you're going to do this you're going to do that just so he's your little toy so you can play with him whenever you want is not cool at all and there definitely should be consequences for it. So last night. If James Charles did threaten Ethan Andrew, then that would be a bad thing, and James Charles could lose his career. If it's not true, then I suggest that James Charles himself, as soon as he gets out of court, actually speaks up and addresses the situation because there's no way I'm going to have to wait two months for him to finally say it after Ethan Andrew came out with his story. Last night, uh, a buddy of mine sent me a, um, a, a video link to Logan Paul's podcast with James Charles on it. And he asked me if James Charles was talking about me. I was like, what? And so I, I watched the video, and James Charles is talking about this TikTok boy that um, he was always trying to fly out, and he wouldn't because he would always make excuses about family problems. And I would that was me. Like, I honestly, I would always make excuses because I didn't want to go out there. I felt uncomfortable about family problems. And when I did say I would come out there, you know, like hangout was, I said I was going to come out with him, which is like, with my brother, like older brother, you know, and he, he, he got very defensive.